Water-based paint, what the professionals say. Dulux Trade's revolutionary new water-based trim range consists of diamond satin wood plus EcoShore gloss and undercoat. To find out opinions on water-based acrylics and to give people a chance to use the products, training manager Peter Doyle invited a group of select decorators to a training center. I've got to be honest, I really don't know much about environmentally friendly products at all. Uh, I know that Dulux do a range of them, I don't really use them and most customers, they never really say, do you use environmentally friendly products, so I don't really know much about it I'm afraid. Um, I've, I've used um, water-based paints in uh, various d different you know, colours and things like that. I much prefer using them rather than a, an oil-based paint. Um, they're easier to apply, they, uh, they work a lot better for me. Um, it, it's basically a good uh, product. Well, to be honest, in 50 years of trade, I haven't used them that much. It's, uh, it's a newish thing to me. I'm an old die in the wall oil paint man myself. You know. Well, currently I'm finding the water-based paints are, are really good quality. Um, they're giving good coverage and they're very easy to use and I just really like them. Uh, if client uh, specified it, you know, I'd look into it and see whether I'd be happy to use it, you know. Would you paint the outside of your house with water-based paint? Uh, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> okay. well, why not? Because I, I, I know what oil paints can do. I've used them for so long that it's teaching an old dog new tricks. It, uh, Believe it or not, I've been decorating for 30 years. Honestly, yeah, honestly, honestly, yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? But, and, I, and I've seen a lot of acrylic glosses, and, and hand on heart, again, I think this one is, is the best, not only for the gloss level, because that's actually the EcoShore gloss. It's quite a nice high gloss level, I think you'll probably agree. If your client wanted something slightly glossier, slightly heavier gloss, then you can put two glosses on, and that will give you a slightly higher gloss again, you know. So, flush door, this has just had um, one undercoat on. If you've, got, if you've got brush marks in your undercoat, they are going to come through to your gloss. It makes sense, doesn't it? So you may need to just give your obviously undercoat a bit of a rub down. But this is the biggest tip that you'll get with, with applying acrylics. If you use your good quality synthetic brush, it will tend to clog up a little bit and it will promote brush marks. And that's what we're obviously trying to get rid of. So the, the best thing to do is to literally just donk it into a, a, a sort of pot of water and just dampen, just dampen the brush to start with, okay? One thing, you, again, you'll, you'll notice the difference between acrylics and, and the salt and bone product is with, with acrylics, you can, you can apply them much heavier than you would with uh, a normal undercoat. It, it, it does flow out, it does actually go on much heavier. If you get it on, particularly if it's a colour, and you lay it off 10 minutes later, you'll get what, like a flash and things like that, and it will look like flotation, i.e. two different colours, because you're flipping the pigment, things like that. So the idea is get it on, lay it off, and leave it. Yeah. So lots on your brush. Loads on there. Once you've got it on, like any any salt and coating, even it out. As long as you've got an even coating, to a degree, it won't run. And then again, exactly the same as your pure bristle brush, using the flags or the tips of the brush, just nice and gently, just lay it off. And that way, you'll get quite a decent uh, surface to put your gloss onto. So slightly bigger brush, dampened before we start. The other thing, we need to, might need to do, especially with your gloss, is just a damp sponge, and I'm not going to soak it, but a damp sponge, just running a sponge over there. I'm um, saying so I'm not throwing a bucket of water on there, I'm just dampening it lightly. And what that will do is it will actually, again, help the flow. Once you've done that, and then it's just a repeat. Again, lots of paint on. So lots of paint on, real good, good, good wet coat. If my client wanted a slightly heavier gloss, uh, a slightly higher gloss, I would actually then put a second gloss on there. Basically making sure that you do leave it the four hours between recoats. So again, lay off, get a nice even, nice even sort of uh, spreading spread, and then again, flags or tips of the brush, bottom to top, you know. And again, if I leave that for 10 minutes and then I come back and I just, I don't know, if I see a a tear drop or a, or a run or anything like that, if I pull it back, it's gonna, it's gonna just give it, flip it. It's gonna make it look like that flashing. So it's, it's really, we've gotta say to ourselves, get it done, don't go back to it. Right first time. And, that, and that's really what that's all about. What's going on? 
and nice. I really like it, but it's uh, it's what the customer get used to. Is we've got to get used to it for the customer to to like it too, and to basically um, change their minds that this is a good product. We should follow on from the solvent base. Seems to be laying off nicely. I like the I like the uh, well, it's got it's, it has got a smell, um, but it's not um, it's not particularly. Um, uh, horrible. Um, yeah, I think I could, I could, I could spend a day doing this without, without feeling that I've uh, had a hard day at work. Yeah. It's quite surprising, really, because you would think, yeah, naturally a water-based gloss, you wouldn't get the same finish as a, you know, a solvent base. But this is a really, really nice finish on this. What do you think of water-based stuff before today? Do you use it? Um, no, not much. Um, <laughs> Traditional decorator under cutting glass. Well, it slides on nice if the applications. Feels good. It does smell much better. It smells really nice. Sir. What would convince you that this is actually not that not that different from gloss from oil base? The finish, the feel of it. Um, we're not going back to an, to the next job, you know, the next room if it looks still as good. I think that's what I'm looking for. As you can see, it's rolling on beautifully and quickly. And I've done the panel in oh, half the time it would take to. I'm waiting to be convinced because I'm not actually a fan of acrylics and I'm waiting to find out whether this system is going to be good. But I'm pleasantly surprised at the moment, I'll be honest. And I'm, See. Everything about them is easier to use. Uh, the application is easier, but even your tidying up and your cleaning, your brushes, all that, you know, they're so much easier to, to, to handle and look after because you haven't got all that white spirit, all that um, solvent stuff. You know, this is just, for me, the way forward.